Hi, I'm Kelly O'Hare, and this is 1v1. And today I am joined with midfielder, um, you're not wearing it, but iconic top bun wearer, <laughs> um, perfectly groomed eyebrow person. I did do the eyebrows today. I did. Midfielder for bit. Gotham FC. You me! And USWNT. Oh, USWNT. USWNT. I know. Um, Christy Newis! Woo! Hi. All right, <laughs> we're going to start with a big burning question. Okay. If you and Sam Kerr, your lover, had to do a PK shootout, shoot till you miss, Alyssa's in goal against Sam, mm -hmm. Australian keepers in goal against you, okay. who's going to win? Um, oof, that's a tough one. I mean, I back Alyssa. Like, Alyssa's going to... Yeah, same. Yeah. Um, I think probably me. Good answer. Yeah, I think probably me because I'm going to just do everything I can to get in her head. <laughs> oh, would um, you be trash talking? Yeah, for yeah, sure. 100%. Yeah. But she's also like so good under the under the gun. So yeah. like, I feel like she'd probably, I don't know. I'm going to say me. She can handle pressure cooker. Yeah. Would you, uh, what would your, because you're obviously taking it until like shoot till you miss or it gets saved. Mm -hmm. Are you like switching up sides? Like what's, you, what would be your preparation? Um... Yeah, I'd probably have to switch up sides, um, but I don't know. I'm not going to like reveal any secrets just yet because we have something big coming up. So well, you're not going to be taking multiple PKs. I mean, I maybe know, you are, but, but like what? Well, no. I mean, I don't know. I I think I would switch it up. Yeah, I feel like you can't. I feel like at this level, you can't go the same direction every single time. Yeah, fair. Um, so you have to kind of have like a bunch of tricks up your sleeve. Okay. Um, but trash talking would be your biggest trick. Tri trash talking, yes. Although she's very good at it too. She's like one of the, like she like when she I trash talk her, she trash talks me like ten times harder, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> like she's that so hurt. good at that. Yeah, oh she's so, she's so good at that. But it does. It, it's funny though. Oh it's my funny. god. But yeah, I tried to do that. I tried to get in her head. I'd be like goofy in front of her and stuff and hopefully I'd come out on top. Well, I would back you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, okay, so in a snacks podcast, you said that making this World Cup team would be like the culmination of your career. What does culmination mean? It means like the the shining <laughs> moment, like all everything has come to this moment, right? Mm -hmm. Like um <laughs> Did you not say that in the, in the podcast? I definitely did, did not say you, culmination. You didn't use that word. I think I said like the... Pinnacle? Pinnacle. Okay. I said pinnacle. It's so like is it the of, same? It's similar. Pinnacle okay. means just like highest point. Culmination means like, you know. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> we'll look up definitions specifically later. But how do you feel like, how do you feel now you've made the team? Do you feel like that was an accurate statement? Yes and no. I feel like I put so much on it because like this is this is everything to me. I mean, it's it is to everybody, but yeah. I feel like me with the way my career has gone, I haven't won that much stuff. I'm 32 now. I didn't really know if there was going to be like another high for me mm. in my career. So I feel like I did put a lot on that. Um, and obviously when I did find out that I made the team, it was just like such a special moment. Like I couldn't believe it. I felt so accomplished in the moment. Yeah. Um, but then like slowly it turned, it started turning and twisting and I was like, Oh my God, well like now, like I we have to like win. Like, <laughs> yeah. Now we have like, I feel like I couldn't focus on winning until I made the roster. That's Cause obviously fair. I wasn't going to win anything if I wasn't on it. So like <laughs> yes. I put everything towards making the roster first, mm -hmm. but then like maybe like two or three days after I made the roster, I was like, oh my God, now we have to win. Like mm -hmm. we're winning now. Mm -hmm. And now like my whole mindset has completely shifted to that. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was definitely like an accurate statement when I said that, because I feel like I couldn't do anything else until that roster came out. Yeah. Um, but I think obviously I can sit here now and be like, oh my, my, the rest of my career like is super important and does matter. But um, but no, I think you, it like, has felt that. Yeah, yeah, like it's just changed everything for me that I've made it. Yeah, yeah, I love that. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm not of course, I picked because I don't have to. Yeah, but the you, yeah, yeah, but when you have to talk about yourself, I know. It's like, oh no, my God, I know. It's literally terrible. just like waterworks. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, and you kind of touched on this. You're 32. This is your first World Cup. And I know people have asked you about this, but I just still think this is an incredible feat to have. To make your first World Cup, like, this late in your career, you, Lynn, Sofia, Huerta, um, why do you think 
you've been able to do this. Like, I just, I, I just think it's, I think it's one of the coolest stats. Yeah. Um, it's like, I think about that a lot too. It is interesting because like, I feel like I always had it in me, mm -hmm. but like, I wasn't mature enough to figure it out. Um, so I was obviously all on me. Like, I feel like there were, I mean, I was in with the national team when I was younger. Um, and I like, I just, I always felt it inside of me. Like I was like, I can be on that team. Yeah. Like I can go to a world championship. Like I can go to an Olympics. I can go to a world cup. Like I knew I had it in me. It was like burning inside of me, mm -hmm. but I just don't think that, yeah, like I said, like, I don't, I don't think I was mature enough to figure it out until now. Yeah. Obviously, I wish I figured it out earlier, but I just don't think that that was like my journey. Like, this is my journey now. And it's like kind of sick that mm -hmm. I'm going to my first World Cup when I'm 32. And it did take me so long to figure out like my true self and my true value and like what I'm worth and like what I can bring to the team. Um, so I obviously wouldn't change it for anything. But I do think that it took me a really long time to admit it to myself and kind of like suck it up and be like, you, you have the capabilities to do this. Like, what's it going to take for you to actually get there? Yeah. I mean, I, I like respect that though. I think like, to me, it's like a badge of honor to be like, yeah, I grinded it out. And like, I'm going to my first world cup at this point in yeah. my career, which I think is cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pumped. <laughs> I'm up for you. Um, kind of speaking or like staying on that same thought, you know, this is a midfield unit that is pretty versatile you're very versatile like where do you see yourself fitting in i i see you playing like eight i see you playing six like you could play the 10 if you needed like how do you how are you handling that mentally and like what's your approach to that yeah sometimes it's sometimes it's tough kind of being like the utility player mm -hmm. because like one training you're like yeah. doing all the reps <laughs> one training you're doing all the reps is the six and then the next training you're doing all the reps is the eight and then you go into the game as the 10 and everything's you're like, wait a second. And you're I'm like, wait, canvas. now I'm like, I'm part of like the press. I'm part of this defensively. I'm on these set pieces. Mm -hmm. So it is a lot because you kind of have to like remember a lot of stuff and um, just work with the people that you have around you. Yeah. And um, you, it, it is hard to kind of just remember like, oh, I'm out here because like I'm good enough to be out here. Like I need to just like they trust me enough to like be a utility player mm -hmm. to just like do what I need to do and do what I know that I can. So it's hard not to get caught up in like what your role is and what your responsibility is. And like it's 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 hard sometimes to just be like, I'm out here because I'm good enough. So just like do what you're good at and like do like just help your teammates out and like get the result. Type yeah. Of thing. So it is tough, but um I do think that our midfield, I mean, we're stacked. Like, we have, like, such a sick midfield. I absolutely love playing with all of them. Yeah. It doesn't matter who I'm playing with. Um, you know, I love playing with Lindsay, Rose, Sonnet, everybody. Like, it's just, like, they make it so easy. Like, they make my job easy because they're just so good. Um, so it's been, it's been amazing so far. And I just feel like every time I come into camp and I'm with this group, you just, like, get a sense of, like oh my God, I belong here. Like, mm -hmm. this is what soccer is supposed to feel like. Mm. It's just like the best, like highest level ever. And like, I just, I feel like I learned so much here and just like, I, I get so much out of like being with the players here. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, in terms of like preparing for this World Cup, obviously Olympics didn't go the way we wanted to. Like our first game against Sweden was terrible. What are you, what are you bringing from that experience to this one? Um, obviously I think that there was like so many different things that like didn't go our way and mm -hmm. like so many things that we like didn't do well at the Olympics. Um, I personally think that we like didn't take one game at a time. I mm. think we kind of like thought ahead and we thought about like getting to this game, getting to the final, like just we, I think in this tournament, we have to just literally take one game at a time. Like don't think about the round of 16 don't think about the final like we have to literally just take how many games is it seven games yeah we need to take game one and like do not think past it like we have to just focus on that not worry about any of the outside noise um and just like i think our focus needs to be full on and i honestly think that that's maybe something that we didn't do in the past that i think will help us now yeah are you a like pre-game jitters kind of person do you get nervous? Yeah. Yeah. I do get nervous. Um, 
I, d- I think I just like, I get kind of like quirky and like touchy and I'm just like, oh, I like get up for no reason. And I'm like, why that. am I over here? Like I'll walk over to the equipment table and I'm like, what was I coming to get? So I like, I'm like focused, but I'm like so focused that I'm not like, uh, yeah. it's just, so I'm definitely just very like fidgety. Okay. And um, I wouldn't say I get like nervous and like, just like sweaty and like jumpy, but I definitely am like nervous in a different way like in a crazy way have you learned anything or practiced anything that helps you with pregame jitters or nerves yeah I don't listen to music you don't no everyone like thinks that's so weird that I don't listen to music but I put my headphones in just on side and Mm. like I'm just sitting on the bus and it's silent Mm -hmm. um (laughs) so fun fact whenever you see Chris with headphones in (laughs) there's nothing coming out of them (laughs) But that's like, so no, I mean, no one's going to talk to me anyways, because like, I'm just staring out the window, like being antisocial on the bus. Yeah. But like, I feel like I need the Zen before the storm. Mm. So like, I literally just like block everything out with silence and just like stare out the window. And Have you always been that way? Um, yeah, honestly. Really? Yeah. I've like tried to listen to music and like tried to like hype myself up, but it gets me like too, too hyped up yeah. too quick. I'm the same way. So I like get in the locker room and I'm like, I'm exhausted already. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I try to just like Zen out before and that really helps me, I think. And then in the locker room, I feel like that's when we can start like bouncing around and like being a little silly and listening to some hype music, but I really need the calm before the storm. I didn't know that about you. Yeah. Learn some Well, don't talk day. to me on the bus. You're behind me. I won't. Oh yeah, yeah true. Yeah. I won't bother you. <laughs> what you listening to? Oh, nothing? Right. Okay. Um, okay. You're obviously dating Sam Kerr. Mm-hmm. That's no secret. Um, she's pretty good. On Australia. Sure, right. Okay. Um, do you remember at the Olympics when I went up to you and I was like, Christy, I know it goes without saying, but you can't talk to Sam about anything we're talking about. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. And you looked at me like I was. Yeah. And I like, couldn't even believe you would ask me that. I was like, someone just has to. So, there was a couple of us, I think, that were like, someone just needs to make sure Christy. Christy. A couple of you guys, a couple of you guys thought I would say anything. Oh my god, you guys! I would literally never. But like, what are you years. talking about besides like, just like, what you got for like coffee in the morning? No, we just like chat about. I mean, we don't like get into like the nitty gritty. All right, stuff, I just was like, double checking. I know. When oh my god, when she asked me that, I was like horrified, literally horrified. Your face. <laughs> Okay, but have you, is there a chance that we might play them? Do you I guys know? Like I, I feel like I've tried to like go through it. And I'm honestly not sure. Would it be in like the semifinals? I have or? no idea. I, I, literally I like don't, don't look beyond. I don't think it's like super likely that mm. we would run into them unless it would be like in the semifinals or finals. I haven't like walked, I haven't walked through it. And yet. you guys, I have, have you guys, think about have it. you ever talked about like the possibility of me? I mean, I guess we did in the Olympics, you know, like. Yeah. Well, we played them twice in the Olympics. No, I know. Yeah, that was just like, I mean, I was like, not like luckily I, I was on the bench, but like I wasn't out there yeah. like having to actually like be up against her. But there is this one moment, I think it was, oh, what game was it? It wasn't in the Olympics, but we always talk about this because I had subbed on and she was on and there was a 50-50 ball in front of us. Yeah. And it was like the last probably like 15 minutes of the game. And we both went in like so hard. So hard. I don't even know where the ball went. I was, but to I say, was like, both of us, we we just. Who won I remember tell. I don't even know. I oh literally don't God. know. It was a fifty-fifty ball. We like rammed into each other. Like I think we would just like kill each other to win. And but I mean, it doesn't change anything with us. Like I'm obsessed with her, and I love her so much, and like she's the best. But I think like when it comes to soccer and when it's it comes like, to our yeah. national teams, it's just like no. Yeah. Like, like we're, the we're relationship doesn't exist yeah. for these ninety minutes. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, what team are you? Is there like a team that you're most looking looking forward to playing? Like you're like, oh, I want um, I want that team. That's a good question. Um, I kind of want to. I mean, I want to play Spain because we obviously lost to them yeah. in the fall. So I'd love to play them and just like crush their dreams. That would be great. Um, Tell us, say it yeah, like it is. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that would be a team. Like because we. I just don't think like our performance was that good. Yeah. And I think that we can like give so much more than we did in that game. So that that game has been like eating me away ever since we lost to mm. them. Um, so I'd love to play them. Um, yeah, 
Germany's always a good game. Yeah. Um, Netherlands would be a good game because we just in the Olympics we only beat them in the shootout. Yeah. So I'd, I mean we're playing them, so totally. that's good. Yeah. But yeah, those teams probably. Um, do you feel like because you know, like you know, you know Sam well, and you know Australia kind of well, like do you feel like you like know what you're getting into down there? Have you ever you've been to New Zealand? Yeah, I went to New Zealand for the U17 oh, World okay. Cup. Um, and I feel like I've been down there like a, another time. Um, and then we obviously went in January. But yeah, I mean, I'm kind of pumped. I and I was just talking to or I was asking Sam like I keep saying, "Oh yeah, like we're coming down under." <laughs> but like are we not in New Zealand cuz she was like, "Christy, that's not down under. Like Australia's down under." And I was like, "Yeah, but New Zealand's down under. But what too. is it under exactly? You know like, what I'm saying? Like New Zealand's the same, if not a little bit lower. That's what I was saying. So I was like, Australia. aren't they down under too? Aren't they like, more I get it's down like under? Like Aussie saying, but it's like they're down under the down under. Yeah, New Zealand. Are they down under like just like in a different hemisphere, like a hemisphere thing? <laughs> well, they're the same. <laughs> 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 okay, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> But is it down under, yes or no? Is New Zealand down under? Or Allegedly is not. Down if under? Sam's saying it's not down under, then no. We're like, well, she was down like a little over. hesitant with it. Like she didn't fully know. Oh, maybe, maybe she's like, no, we want to be the only ones who are down under. Down under. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I'm pumped. I mean, I've been down there a couple times now, and the weather's gonna be nice and cold, which I thrive really? in. Really? Yeah. I like playing in the cold. Oh, interesting. I didn't oh, know that about you. The heat stinks. What? I yeah. Be. Well, it's like perfect. It's perfect soccer weather. It's that is true. It's going to be like 60s and we're just going to like thrive. Well, it didn't really help you like pack because we were I know. stressed about that. No, I know. So much bulky stuff. So much bulky stuff. Okay. What would an ideal Christy Mewis game look like? Like talk me through some of the like highlights of an ideal Christy Mewis game. Because this is the thing, like, as an outside back, you're like, well, I'm probably not scoring. I mean, that would be an, an ideal game, but yeah. there's, like, certain things that you could do. Like, what would you, what would an ideal game, have you, what do you think of? Like, when you're like, that would be the best performance I could give. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, obviously assists, like, yeah. like assists are just, like, so good to get as a midfielder um two assists and a goal like that would be ideal that would be sick um but I feel like when I try to envision like what I want my game to look like just like really good tackles yeah. like getting the ball forward through balls to the forwards um some good crosses in obviously the assists and a goal um but just kind of like playing like just getting the feeling of just like playing how you know how to play like when it just feels good like yeah. you know when it feels good and it doesn't feel good when it feels like a little bit good but like that feel good play where you're just like on the ball like your touch is on your pass is on like your movements on just like everything feels right so yeah that's what I would envision you're, you're in your flow state yes yeah oh I like that the flow state yeah okay get into it okay um, I want to take a moment here to note that we wouldn't be here without the support from Ally, who has supported women's sports on and off the field. So I'm curious, when you're on the field, things seem like hectic. Who are you looking at for support? On this team. Yeah. You. <laughs> you can't Obviously just... you. Are you going to say that? Are you saying that just because I'm sitting here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, enough. you. Definitely. Um, Lindsay. Yeah. I just feel like Lindsay just like Lindsay's just like a grinder. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like when the going gets tough, like yeah, sometimes like we all get frustrated and stuff, but like Lindsay's just like a grinder. Like she's just gonna like push through everything. Like she's gonna just like lead the team in that way. Yeah. Um get it done. Pino, of course, she's like has that same just like aura about her where she just like exudes like excellence. So I'm I would like would look at her for that. Um Rose is the same like she just grinds through anything like doesn't stop running like I feel like when I when I like start getting tired I'm like oh my god I have to stop like I have to sub out like I have to go down I look at Rose and she's still just like bouncing around just like not out of breath and I'm like yeah. okay well, I just have to like be like Rose yeah. right now no those are those are very good answers yeah. and very good reasons <laughs> off the field who who would you say your biggest ally is and biggest supporter 
who do you lean on the most? <sighs> you. Christy, I've been your rock through this entire <laughs> journey. If you don't know what we're talking about, that's a scavenger hunt. Go find yeah. it. Um, well, you and Lynn have been like huge pieces for me mm. these past couple of well, months. Same. Yeah. Um, who else? I feel like Andy is just so like she's so like caring and like nurturing and she's always like cheering for me like she's always got my back um she always like tells me when I like play a great ball or like just yeah. anything like I feel like she like gives you that little boost of confidence when you need it um she is a great cheerleader I know she is I love Alyssa too Alyssa's Alyssa's the best off the field like I love having my morning coffees with her she's like she's just like a chatterbox like she can just like sit there and just chat to you and just like talk nonsense and it's just like it's sometimes it's nice and refreshing yeah. like you're just like yeah Alyssa yep yep no <laughs> don't think about anything else let's just have this conversation oh my god I love it yeah. great answers all right rapid fire to finish okay okay um wait so just like one word no you can oh, just it's okay. just like supposed to be quick okay <laughs> some people are quick um oh what's your skincare regimen Oh, I have such good skincare right now. Well, tell us. Tell the people want to know. Okay. Walk us through it. <sighs> okay. Right now, I am using Paula's Choice Toner, okay. which is like game changer. Every so day? Like, morning and night? Morning and night usually. So I'll like okay. wake up. I'll like rinse my um, nighttime routine off. Obviously. That can be for a different day. Okay. Um, and then I'll use one of the little pads and do the um toner so okay. it's like if you're dry like it just like makes it it just makes the bounces your like, ph yes yeah. yes and it actually does that like i feel like toners like don't always do that like this one actually works the paula paula's choice one okay never heard of it and then i have Can this I thing it's it like it's from like in beauty and it's this like new line and i've bought like three or four bottles of it and i have like two bottles with me extra because it's so good it's like a hyaluronic acid it's like a serum um, it's kind of like a serum, but it's like a creamy serum. Okay. Um, so I put that on and it like just really like plumps and moisturizes my skin. We love a plumper. Yeah. And then depending on how my skin feels, I'll put like a little bit of moisturizer over it. I have the Say Beauty right now. With Shout the out Say oh Beauty. Oh my God. The, the, I think it's called the it Skin been, Tint. Yeah. It's been really nice. And like the, they have this like dewy thing that I mix that with and these sun drops. And I just put that on with a little bit of blush. Where, really where were we know. going with this? Just my That's it, right? Yeah. Just the skin. You did it. Okay. You got there. Okay. I could go on and on. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And it's amazing. I love it. Well, you do have fantastic <laughs> skin. Um, okay, rapid fire. Okay, okay, okay. Better <laughs> color, pink or blue? Blue. Better color, gray or black? Black. Okay. <laughs> um, what's the USA Portugal final score going to be? Two to nothing. Oh, really? Us. Yeah, no, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Is that um, like too low or too high? I would like more, but I think that's a fair yeah. assessment. It's the third group stage yeah. game or whatever. Um, are you going to act like cool because you like know all the Australia stuff? Yeah. Cool. All right. Fair yeah. enough. Um, will you score more goals in this World Cup than Sam Mewis did in 2019, which was two? No. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> All right. Um, are you ready to accept that I am the pilot, Lynn is the flight attendant, and you're the passenger? No. Like, literally, no. You can be the pilot if you want to be the pilot, but Lynn in no way, shape, or form is the flight attendant. No way, shape, or form. Occasionally, me and her will switch, but she is mostly the passenger. All right. Mostly. But not in a bad way. It's just because she's like more chill than both of us. Like both of that us. That is just true. Crazy. Like that it's is just very she's true. Chill. That's that's. And she's true. like, okay, like whatever you two crazies want. Yeah, because you think I'm crazy, but like, crazy too. I'm I'm like an eight out of ten. You're a ten out of ten, and Lynn's like a two. <laughs> yeah. And like that's why. But oh me or you, me and you are not chill enough to be passengers. No, definitely not. No. But Lynn is rarely the pilot. Like rarely. That's true. Yeah, that's true. It's like when we let her be the pilot. Yes. Like we were like, we need a day off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all we have. Woo! Thank you for being here. I'm really excited for your first World Cup. My, my palms are sweaty. Sorry. Yay.